5 to 11 servings of bread, cereal, or rice. What? 3 to 5 of vegetables and 4 of fruits. Is their antioxidants and fiber help you to digest. If I were to ask you, what is cancer? You might say, well, cancer has something to do with a tumor, which is very true. It does have something to do with a tumor. So here we can see this is our tumor here. The, the tumor itself is usually called the last stage. So in this case, it says there's four basic steps of cancer, and having that tumor is the last stage, stage D. What does it start with? Well, before stage A comes around, there's actually something called a cell mutation. So a genetic mutation, which causes this cancer in the first place. And this is what we're going to talk about today, what this genetic mutation does and why we need to keep our genes healthy to make sure that our body is maintained and its normal functions. So Dr. Point says students will use available evidence to analyze the links between gene expression and maintenance of, and repair of body tissue. So here in this case, there was obviously the genes weren't maintained, which meant that health itself became bad because disease itself came. What we'll talk about now is what gene expression is. The dot point says gene expression, so we need to go over what that is and how it helps us to actually maintain health itself. So this here is what gene expression is. And just imagine this whole squiggly lines, all of these, were our DNA. So this is our DNA right here. And within DNA, DNA is basically made up of these you know, A, C, G, and C, these uh, A, C, G, and T, these bases. And you can imagine this whole string is made up of lots of these, billions of these, these bases here. And these small dots that I have highlighted in different colors are meant to be our genes. And if you watched the last video, you know that genes code for proteins. So each of these genes make a protein. And there's only certain sections of our whole DNA that actually code for these proteins. So they're called the genes. Now they can be switched on or they can be switched off. Switched on or switched off. And let's say one of these genes, let's take this gene here for example, let's say we switched it on. What does that mean? Well, if it's switched on, so we've switched it on, what that means it's actually going to be replicated. So here it's going to be copied. You're going to have a mRNA come in, copy this and leave and make a protein. So now a protein is being made. So if the actual gene is switched on, that means that it's going to be actually making a protein, the protein that it usually codes for, the polypeptide it usually codes for. That means we're going to have this protein. Whereas if it's switched off, that means this wouldn't happen and no protein would be made. That's the difference between switched off and switched on. That's what we consider gene expression. So if a gene is expressed by being switched on, that means they're going to have a protein made. Whereas if the gene is expressed by being switched off, that means nothing will be made. That was meant by switch on and switch on. We have different, there's billions of genes, and not billions, but many, many millions of genes in every, it's actually also not millions, it's tens of thousands of genes. Many tens of thousands of genes in every DNA molecule. And these genes have to be switched on and switched off. You can't have them all on or all off, but they're going to be controlled. Now, what happens if, for example, these oncogenes, this, these three different ones I'm going to cover in this top point, because they're actually quite important when it comes to cancer. This one called the oncogenes, the tumor suppressor genes, and the DNA repair genes. Now, these oncogenes, they make cells divide rapidly. So they make cells divide faster. So you might be able to read that. So in a normal cell, we're going to have the oncogenes expressed when the cell wants to divide, so when it wants to divide, it will make these, switch these on. That means the actual cell will divide faster. So when it wants to divide, it will switch them on, but when it doesn't want to divide, it's going to be switched off. So it's going to be switched off if it doesn't want to divide. And in cancer, basically the switch off mechanism is doesn't exist anymore. It's always going to be on, which means they just replicate like crazy. And that's the first one, these oncogenes, and they were there to make things divide faster, but we can switch them on or off. The other one were the, were the tumor suppressor genes. So there's two main parts that they can do. First of all, they can actually slow down division, slow down division, or they can signal cell death. So they can signal cell death. And again, like with the other one, we can either switch them on or we can switch them off. 
when might we want to have them on. So when we have them on, it means cell division itself might slow down. And for example, if there's a problem in our DNA, we want to make sure we repair the DNA before it gets divided. Then we switch on our tumor suppressor genes. That slows down the division, gives our DNA repair genes enough time to actually, uh, DNA repair protein enough time to actually repair our DNA. And once it's all repaired, then they're switched off again, and oncogenes take over to keep dividing. So there's, for example, they're switched on when there's a problem in our DNA, or when we have enough cells. When we have enough cells, we don't want to have them anymore. We'll slow down as well. Or when there's one cell which is really, really bad in terms of, you know, it's damaged to its DNA so much that it says, okay, we actually need to kill the cell. So it will switch on to kill the cell as well. So these might be some of the reasons why we must have it switched on. And again, when we have it switched off, well, we have it switched off if we want to have more cells because this slows down the division. If we want to have more cells, we don't want to have these on. So there's usually a balance between the oncogenes, which make it go faster, and the tumor suppressor genes, which make the vision go slower. And a balance makes sure that we have a given number, so a stable number of cells in the body. Now in cancer, there were mutations, so these don't work anymore properly. We might have the oncogenes, which are always on, which means we keep dividing like crazy. And the, the tumor suppressor genes might always be off, which means we don't we. Really they might, yeah, they might always be off, which means we don't slow down our actual division. And that would lead to eventually a tumor, because a tumor is just lots of cells. A tumor is lots of cells. And if we have our oncogenes always on and our tumor suppressor genes always off, that can lead to that tumor, because we can just make crazy amounts of cells. Now, the, also another gene which is important was that DNA repair gene, and it produces a DNA repair protein. Now, obviously, we want to have this gene on, switched on, when there's a problem with our DNA, and then switched off if there's obviously no problem. You don't need to create this one if there's no problem. But this usually is for what so this diagram here shows that, you know, here we're dividing, and if everyone wants to be dividing, so that the oncogenes will be on to keep dividing. Once there's a problem, then these tumor suppressor genes will be switched on, which means it slows down, it slows down. And that gives the DNA repair genes enough time to repair the damage. And once it's been repaired, these switch off again, and then these ones switch on, and then the cycle continues. But if these tumor suppressor genes don't work anymore, we can't slow it down, which means the DNA repair genes won't be able to fix the problem, which means the problem itself will always be there, plus those cells will be copied even faster. So we're going to have cells which have a malfunction or a problem that keep dividing, so they keep dividing. Again, I mentioned earlier, at least the tumor, and some of these tumors can be harmful. They can cause the cancer. So that's the, the actual dot point says students will evidence to link between, so use every available evidence to analyze links between gene expression and maintenance and repair of body tissue. So gene expression was just that we can switch certain genes on and off. And we need to be able to do that to, for example, make sure we have enough cells and that our cells are damage free, our DNA is always repaired. And the oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes they make sure there's a balance between how many, you know, how fast our cells divide and how slow they divide. And then these repair genes, if there's a problem, we can slow down the actual division, repair the problem, and speed up again later. But if these are out of control, that means cancer will develop, as an example. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.